this is another quick idea for your decoration. Really, you can utilize things that you have, but it's a great idea for a memory. This is especially good to remember those that served in the military or someone in your family, and you could adapt this to any holiday, actually. And I just want to encourage you, use what you have. That is going to help you to utilize your supplies. But also, if you don't have something, you can, of course, buy whatever it is that you want. So, what this is going to be is I'm using this old barn wood piece that I have. And uh, some burlap ribbon that was from the Dollar Tree. I had this already in my stock. And I'm not sure if they... But if you can't find this ribbon, you can also utilize just regular burlap ribbon or even just regular ribbon that you have, whatever you like. I'm gonna use, I'm going to use these small white photo frames from Dollar Tree. And I've got some pictures that I'm going to put inside those. And they're going to hang down from this barnwood with some stars intermingled in them. Now Dollar Tree has, you can see I have a stack here. I'm trying to decide what to do. And it is going to be really pretty when I finish. And I'll show you real quickly. But also you need a little nautical robe or a way to hang this. So if you don't have that, you could use... Um, you could use uh, picture hangers and screw them in the back to hold this up because you don't want it to fall down. All right, so I want to show you real simply what I'm going to do and then just put it together for you so it's a quick video. So I'm going to staple this nautical rope and make a hanger on the back. I'm going to glue down this ribbon on here. Another idea that you could use is to uh, paint or even stencil a message, or you could utilize some other decor to decorate your wood. And then I'm going to hang these pictures and stars down from the wood on strips of burlap. And I think I'm going to go with the plain burlap for the hanger. Similar to this idea, if you can see here. All right. So first, I'm going to staple the nautical rope to the back and put the hanger together. And go ahead and put in my hangers for each of the pictures. And they're going to be different lengths, not all exact same length. To cut these strips for the hangers, I just took my burlap ribbon and cut it in half. So just so you know, save some money that way and get the exact size that I wanted. Different lengths. So I'm placing all my burlap where I think I want them and I'm gonna staple those down as well. Okay, we're all stapled here. I stapled the end of the ribbon over there and I'm gonna apply glue and glue it down and then I will staple this end. I rolled it like that and pulled it around and it will be a finished edge and staple it on the other side as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the glue to the wood and get that on for the ribbon to start drying, this burlap ribbon and then <clears throat> then I'm going to fix these pictures and glue them on and we'll be done. Okay, just so you can see the back side, the finished edge of the ribbon here and here and everything is stapled on. So then here is the ribbon applied with the hanger and these little hangers of burlap. This will dry clear. So next, we're gonna work on these frames. Okay, just about done here. Got everything on here. I want you to know the measurements if you wanted to make one similar to mine. 
I put the tip of the star down five inches on the two ends and seven inches on the center one. These two pictures are at three inches and these are three and a half. Do you want to make sure your glue is dried before you uh, set it down? I am kind of trying to rush it a bit. Okay, the only thing that I feel like I might need is something a little bit extra on these frames. So I'm going to think about that a minute and show you the finished project. Okay, I'm finished with this. I added a few letters to just spell out courage and a little bit of washi around the white frames. And there it is. I'm going to hang it on the wall. We'll see what it looks like. 